drives home uh, the point that Brett was making in the previous video of how we can restore this thing. That clip is interesting. They validated exactly what it was he was describing, which was a fake world that's presented over our screens by these mega monolith corporations that uh, decide what we get to know and when we get to know it. And then to have CNN cut away, not able to engage in their usual level of stagecraft because they don't know what he's going to say is incredible. I was very interested in the way he navigated the idea this was not a simple endorsement of Trump. This was an endorsement of retaking the White House and using that position to restore the Republic to its proper course. Does this cause a guy like you to be open to the idea of voting for Trump versus Kamala? Oh, absolutely. Let me just be perfectly clear about this. I think the modern Democratic Party is an existential threat to the Republic. And although I am a Democrat, I've been a Democrat my whole life, the party that I see in front of me today is literally the inverse of the party I signed up for. This is now the party of war. This is the party of racism. This is the party of censorship. I don't recognize this party. There is no conceivable scenario in which I would vote for Kamala Harris. I just simply will not do it. I hope This is Renee from the great uh, Get Real channel. I haven't posted much lately, but I just want to say for all you independent voters, undecided voters, voting for Kamala Harris, which is a puppet, she's a puppet of the deep state, is a vote for Antifa. It's a vote for socialism. It's a vote for censorship. It's a vote for the mega international deep state corporations that are trying to control and destroy this country and make it not a republic anymore but a country that is controlled by a huge government. This is not what we are. This is not what we fought for in the Revolutionary War. We are becoming a, con a country controlled by international deep state operatives and corporations that want to see this country flooded with illegal immigrants they want to see this country completely turn backwards from what it actually is. This is a fact. Please don't vote for Kamala Harris. It would be one of the hugest mistakes you could ever make. She's a liar and a deceiver and a puppet. Let's get real.